and measurement of angles. Hello friends. Today we will learn how to use a divider and how to measure angles with the help of a protractor. Golu and Bholu are identifying the angles in the different pictures given in their picture book. Let's observe the first picture. Golu, can you tell me the measurement of the angle being formed in the seesaw? Hmm, I think it is an angle greater than right angle. But I think it is an angle smaller than right angle. Hmm, come on, let's ask uncle. He can give us the right answer. To find out the correct answer, both went to their uncle and asked him about the angle being made in the picture of the seesaw. Their uncle showed them a strange object. Children, do you know what this is? This is called a divider. With its help, we can find out whether an angle is a right angle, greater than a right angle or smaller than a right angle. Look kids. You already know that a right angle looks like the letter L. If I make the shape of L by bending both the legs of this divider, we can now find if an angle is a right angle or not. Look here. With the help of this divider, we can find out that the angle in this book is right angle. Oh wow, uncle! So can we identify the angle of the seesaw given in this picture with the help of this divider? Yes. Why not? To identify the angle in this picture, we will place the divider this way. See, the divider was as open as the measurement of the right angle before. Then to measure this angle. we had to slightly reduce the distance between the two sides of the divider this means that this angle is smaller than a right angle but uncle is there anything that gives us the exact measurement of an angle yes we do have an instrument like that it is called a protractor you can make a protractor yourself if you want how do we do that uncle First take a tracing paper through which we can see across easily. Now make a semicircle that is half circle on that paper. Divide that semicircle into two equal parts. You can see that 90 degree and 0 degree angles are being formed here. Now divide both the halves of the semicircle into three equal parts. So There will be a total of 6 parts of the semicircle. Here we divide 90 degrees into 3 equal parts and hence the measurement of each part will be 30 degrees. And if we count from 0, then this first angle will be 30 degrees, second 60 degrees. Similarly on adding 30 degrees to each of these angles, the last angle will be 180 degrees. Here our protractor is ready. Now if we have to measure an angle we will place the center point of this protractor at the vertex of the angle. And remember one line of angle must be placed along the baseline of the protractor. Now this second line of the angle tells us the correct measurement of the angle. Oh wow uncle can i now make an accurate measurement of the angle of the seesaw with the help of this protractor yes sure bholu to get the correct measurement of the angle of the seesaw we will place the protractor above the angle like this see the measurement of this angle is slightly less than 90 degree did you see children with the help of this protractor We can easily measure any angle. In your geometry box, you will find a protractor. It has numbers from 0 to 180 on both sides from right to left and left to right. In this way, we can measure the angle from both sides using the protractor. In this video, we learned estimation of an angle using a divider and using a protractor to measure angles looking at this angle can you estimate and tell us what is its measurement 
discuss this with your friends we will tell you the correct answer in the next video in the next video we will see some interesting examples related to measurement of angles thank you